I know y'all familiar with these. Every sneakerhead knows what these are. But without these, there is not that. These are the Air Darwins. The Air Darwin, originally coming out in 1994, worn by some may say the greatest defensive player of all time, Dennis Rodman. Dennis will wear the Air Darwins in the 1994-1995 season only with the Spurs. They came in a black and white colorway, white and black, and most famously worn was the white, black, and that teal colorway. That is fire. I'm still trying to get these in my collection, and it's been hell. Not gonna lie. I definitely gotta say this too, because I understand when people say today, how was they playing basketball in these shoes? I love the shoe a lot. It's very clean, very simple. Not doing too much. I wouldn't put them like in an elite tier or nothing like that. But goddamn, this was a big ass shoe. It resembles a boot to me. Like this literally looks like a boot. <laughs> like I don't see how this man was playing basketball in these. Like the sole looked like it's going for hiking. But overall, the shoe is solid. But I can definitely see why kids was like, no way they was playing basketball in these. But other than that, a classic. What made the Darwin the star was it was the first shoe to feature the backwards swoosh. I bet Nike back then did not know how much of an impact that will be today. Also dropped in the same year was the Nike Air Flare, another shoe that featured the backwards swoosh. That was a tennis shoe, tennis racket, not like tennis shoe. Yeah, I know what I'm trying to say. But tennis shoes that featured the backwards swoosh also. But, you know, it just kind of went under the radar. The Darwin gets the credit first for being the first backwards swoosh shoe. Fast forward to today, a lot of people think that Travis is the first backwards swoosh. Actually, Nike been doing the backwards swoosh thing for years. I always say this, it was never the backwards swoosh. It was always the name behind it. It's a lot of shoes that feature the backwards swoosh. Giannis shoes, the Greek one, he has another model that has the backwards swoosh. Paul George shoes feature the backwards swoosh. Some of my favorites and my all-time favorite with the backwards swoosh was the LeBron 10. LeBron 10 was like if you know in that era, the LeBron 10 was the shoe. For the people that wasn't in that era, I know y'all like to shit on LeBron shoes these days. It's trendy, but yeah, LeBron shoes was definitely it, especially that 10. Um, so many colorways I can go. That's another video for another day. I'll pull that out. But yes, the, the backwards swoosh has been around for a while. I want to say his 11 model had it too. But yeah, the backwards swoosh has been around forever. So for the people that don't know, this is not a new thing. The Travis name is what carries them. Also throwing them on a classic silhouette on a Jordan 1, it just fits. So put them together, it works. Since its original release in 1994, the Darwin would get a few retros. They had a hybrid version. I would say this about hybrids in that 2000-ish era. I feel like Nike realized their mistakes. Yes, basketball shoes were meant for basketball back in the day. For the people that don't know, since y'all sweat shit was not basketball, they shouldn't be playing basketball. Nike realized their mistakes and was like, you know what? How can we put a modern day twist on older models? They came out with a hybrid version of the Darwins. I'm not gonna lie, these ugly. And they did this with a lot of shoes. It wasn't just basketball shoes. Griffies, all type of shit. Like, the hybrid era was kinda a love-hate thing for some people. Some people liked it, some people didn't. I liked it, especially like Spitzax and stuff. I come from that era when the Spitzax and Dubs was one of the hottest shoes. If you come from that, please show the love in the comments because I swear people today shit on Spitzax and shit like that. Like they just wasn't shit. Spitzax is the greatest hybrid of all time. I will continue to say that on every platform. But yeah, back to the hybrids. Yes, a lot of shoes got hybrids. Pennies, uh, Air Max Jordans, uh, you name it hybrid if they threw a big ass bubble and they could throw a big ass bubble on it they would definitely do it darwin as i said got retros throughout the year 
they were okay they have this little red and white colorway it was just like slight under the radar retros but i say the true retro when they truly retro the shoe was 2018 2018 they came out with this chicago bulls colorway i'm going to put it right here even i'm even doing this video because i got these for 40 bucks i was like you know what why not do a video on the dark ones a lot of people don't even know this shoe exists but yes the, the first backwards whoosh i had to do the video retro came out 2018 and then 2019 it was like you know what let's give it its proper retro when i say proper retro come out with the og colorways but also throw in some new colorways so the new school can enjoy it or just something new for the shoe it needs it that's how you do a proper retro so when you see a classics model come back and you see new colorways with it that's what you call a proper retro fast forward all the way to 2004 they was like you know what let's do this again nike this year they actually bring back the darwin low which is also an og model from back in the day that they don't really talk about it but it's actually a model i ain't gonna lie though doing my research i didn't even know they came in a low top i thought it was just always high but the lows definitely was out back in the day but the highs was the one that people wanted they actually had a high high one like the mid tops was the one that was that was the most popular one the one with the strap the high tops them look kind of funky i'm not gonna lie but the 2024 they brought back the air darwin but in low and also nike they always got to do their little thing hey supreme you got a collab we got a shoe for you they threw a little supreme on there add a little razzle dazzle come out with some new colorways camo green put the og colorways in there and smack supreme in between it good old nike you know they good for it but not gonna lie one of the most underrated collabs to drop this today like those was kind of fire i'm not gonna lie and you can get them for a pretty decent price i've mentioned it in other videos on my youtube channel tiktok ig that's one of them shoes you should still be able to get at retail like don't sleep i do plan on getting the lows they might even get lower in price so be on watch about that. overall the air darwin needed his flowers without it travis would not be a thing although travis is the pinnacle of the backwards swoosh it deserves everything it's getting right now i will say this too and this is a video for another day i might do top collabs of all time when it's all said and done i think travis will either be number two or number three all-time collapse it's just like <laughs> they burn this shit to the ground i don't know i in that range if, if, if i'm going in a quick one if, if i do a top 10 i'm going off white is the greatest is the greatest collab of all time i got supreme supreme they've been doing supreme collabs of 20 you gotta give us that and then i would probably go travis debatable in the comments i have to deep dive back into collab info or information but i think that's a uh, case for that but without the darwin it walked so travis can run let me know in the comments if you didn't know this if you knew about the darwin did it need its respect did it get its proper retro i like to hear from the people for the people that's looking for my ig i swear i didn't block y'all i made a new ig i have to say this every video this is it right here until next time people